Sure. So first of all, yes. I mean, the, all the things that you mentioned, but all the new models coming out. I mean, that's that's what's so exciting right now, right? I mean, the general server architecture has been fairly boring for a long time, right? It's been fairly fixed. It's been fairly fixed pie. Everybody fighting for share within that pie. Accelerating computing started being adopted for offload types of capabilities, right? Network and storage offload and things like that. And Marvell played in that in DPUs, but the attach rate is, you know, on a on a global scale, relatively low, with some data centers being much higher. The exciting thing about moving towards the AI and, and machine learning as the primary sort of workload is that now accelerated computing is the dominant computing force, which is why you mentioned everybody was talking about what sort of GPUs are going to be deployed in, in these in these networks. But the, the key word there is networks, right? You don't have one GPU solving all these problems. You need to connect tons of them together, thousands, tens of thousands of them together to solve the largest problems. And that all requires massive amounts of bandwidth. Um, and, and so, for example, if you take a step back and you ask yourself, what about traditional cloud infrastructure versus current cloud infrastructure versus AI infrastructure? What's the, what's the networking opportunity? So today, within a standard uh, server infrastructure, you've got you know, maybe 50 or 100 gig ports, maybe up to 200 gig ports in each server. Those tend to be connected by straight direct attached copper cables to the top of rack switch. And then the switch network is all optical but the sort of switch to server tends to be a copper cable. The exciting thing within AI systems is because it requires orders of magnitude more bandwidth, now it's all optical, all down to the system itself. And so for example, if you take one of these big um, systems today, let's say an eight GPU system, there'll be at least four 800 gig, 800 gig, okay, I mentioned 50 to 100 gig in the servers, there'll be at least four 800 gig connections coming out of the back of that. That's all optical. And for Marvell, the exciting thing is that that's where we lead, okay? We're the leader in optical networking. These really high-speed optical networks require very powerful digital signal processing. And that's Marvell's leadership position is we build those DSPs that sit in those optical connections and drive the signals over those optical links. And so you start to see the, the opportunity for optical networking to be massively more within an AI network. And that's really been, and, and by the way, that's, that's connecting systems together, that's connecting clusters together, and also connecting data centers together. Because you're starting to see now with, with training having been done maybe centrally, inference needs to move more locally, and these regional data centers need to be connected by very powerful networks. And Marvell's data center interconnect optical connections play in that space.